How are we doing today? Let's just unplug the charger, mate. While my vape's charging up over there. You're breathing in my ear, old little lady. Starting my day off with a film today. We still kill the old blaze. Oh dear. Yep, my knee's messing about still. So, back in bed today again. I was thinking about trying to move some slabs out in the back garden. Just a few at a time, just get them across the garden. Start uh, doing under the windows. Along here. The other side of the window, obviously. So the dogs have got something to tap the old mud off on their feet when they're coming away from having their poop area. Because when it gets too slushy outside and too uh, sodden the ground, Willow prefers to go over on the couple of slabs on the opposite side of the garden. So I thought, hmm, okay. So you prefer doing it on the slabs than you do on the wet floor. And that's why you keep saving it up to come indoors. Okay. So we've had no toilet mishaps overnight. One minor pee this morning from Willow. But not like a flooded torrent. It was just literally a little dot. A tiny little puddle. <coughs> that, I don't mind. That's an accident. That's not a deliberate one, is it? So the toilet training's going okay. It's not a problem now. Today's going to be Pip. Sort them out. Update information. With the new medical uh, information that's been now confirmed. Um, let them know that I've uh, got the mobility scooter now. Let them know what's going on with my knee. How it's affecting my mobility. And then uh, just let them put that in their system so they can then uh, check with the uh, doctors when they try and do their. What is it? The capita prove you fit for the army test. Oh no, sorry, it's a work assessment thing, isn't it? To see if you're fit for work. So why are they doing army recruitment? Oh let's let's just not talk about that, eh? <clears throat> I'm fit to work or serve still. Oh, 
تماشای مزه ای فیشای با آمه این نه کجه این آف این آف که این آف مامنه if you're an entertainer You don't want them Brigade 77 all over the place fucking about with our phones and all that sort of shit while they're building up to that, do we? You know what I mean? And yes, I had, while I was uh, listening yesterday, um, yes, I had remembered the... Andrew Ash interview lesson there. Because I kept noticing a couple of things popping up. Yeah. Psychology wise in the chat. So I knew the 77 lot was about. So I took the chance to warn the stream up. Yeah, they were about. My phone started acting up. I was getting pop-ups on my phone and all sorts of shit. YouTube's not responding. Please, please press this. What? What do you mean, pre please press this? It's still live, so YouTube is working properly, isn't it? And the fact that the chat wasn't working properly and kept blanking out means it was either coming from that end or them, the Brigade 77 lot. So be very, very careful at the moment and take care of everyone. When you discuss things about uh, their boss, they start playing up. Yeah. I was asked to share it, but I checked first before I shared it. Just to make sure that they didn't mind it getting shared. And we was told share, share, share. So, okay. That's the only reason it was shared and that. But as soon as I shared it, my phone started acting up and everything. So, as soon as I came away from that and started doing my own thing again online... Um, and uh, watching videos, enjoying music, that sort of stuff. As soon as I started doing that, my phone was left alone. It went back to normal. So, um, just be aware. Just be aware of that. Um, and keep safe. Um, you know? Um, if uh, if it's the 77 lot, then there's going to be spookiness involved as well. So, uh, hmm. I don't care, I'm dealing with uh, my own things at the moment. Um, as you can see, I'm lying in bed. Um suffering from disability issues so i thought i'd take uh the time i, I had spare in between keeping my own self occupied and my own vibe up my own energy right i thought i'd take the time to pop on and upload an update video i haven't had a chance to check nothing else out because uh I was just watching a film first thing. Um, I got woke up this morning. Um, but it didn't bother me. I didn't react to it. I 
Um, open the back door up. Yeah, front back door gate was open again. You know, over the fence line. Still open now. So someone's playing games, like I said. So I'm aware there's another setup in the making. <laughs> and it ain't going to work. Because first of all, I'm being sort of told to wake up. Let the dogs out, see the open gate. Yeah. So it's pretty obvious how I'm trying to be manoeuvred. Um... I didn't bother going out there because didn't need to watch the dogs. I knew exactly what they was doing and why they was doing it. So uh, <laughs> I just left the dogs to get on with their thing. Um, while uh, I could hear the listening through the walls. Here, behind my head. It's all about monitoring my reaction, isn't it? A bit like in the ash house, isn't it? You know what I mean? Because you knew it was all Mike there, didn't you? So why would there be listeners? Why would there be monitors behind my head? Yeah? I only raised my voice once this morning. When I was having a little episode. After that, could hear the voices behind my head, behind the wall, all start mumbling. Then I pointed it out to my carer. I said, see, walls have ears, just like I said. <sighs> Other than that, you know, Right, I need a vape. I've already had to change the bowl over this morning. And now, uh, sort of pour the insides of it. I thought it was the coil going. Uh, because there's less smoke coming out. It got right down to one bar and it was fucking hardly any smoke coming out of it. I thought, what the... F what the douche? Sorry, I'm trying not to swear as much today. I thought, what the douche? <laughs> um, it 
So I'll just swap the bowl over and the uh, new coil that was in that from the old vape that broke when I dropped it. <laughs> yeah, it's done something to the inside. Probably broke a bit of solder. Something like that. There's nothing rattling about in it, so... <coughs> But they are very good vapes in ones. They're worth investing in. Um, so there's nothing wrong with that vape. I thought, oh no, it's, it's doing exactly the same thing as the other one now. But it's not. It's just the uh, coil starting to go in the bowl. So I just swapped over the other bowl with the new coil in it. That I replaced into the old one. And give it a good old charge and it's having a good old charger. Still no tobacco use whatsoever. Um, I feel no urge to have a cigarette at all. I've managed to eke out the gas. Um, I said it might run out over the weekend, didn't I? But it's now Tuesday where I've been eating sarnies and... Uh, not cooking so much for so long, even if I'm cooking pasta, I'll boil the kettle to put in the saucepan, or we'll boil a couple of kettles to put in the saucepan to soften the pasta, leave the lid on for five minutes while the next kettle's boiling. It's softening the pasta up for the dogs and myself first thing in the morning. Um... And then we're eking at the dog food at the same time, if you see what I mean. So, I started my day today with a bowl of pasta, cheese and mango sauce again. Because that was quite easy to eat on my gums and that. I'm still, uh, hang on. Oh. Still draining the axis. And the one on the lower jaw has gone down by itself, so. For now. With no antibiotics, no pain relief. whatsoever in my system right that'll do for charge wise because I just want to quick go on that I haven't really been getting the benefit from it this morning like I said there was hardly any smoke coming out of it so it's not it's not cooking the oil is it <sighs> I can charge it up fully later once I've got my nicotine level up to what I need it to be up to at the moment. <clears throat> I haven't had a chance to watch anything else today or do anything on social media. Yep, that's cooking. I've got to get some gas, so I've got to pop out at some point today, but I'm going to do it on the bike. Just slow the ride up the shop and back. At some point, when I need to cook some food. Um, if the gas actually runs out, if you see what I mean, even if I put the gas on straight away, I think it charged me five pence last time for the privilege of it running out. <laughs> you know what I mean? And not using any emergency credit. But it still ripped me off five pence when I put the gas on the meter. Naughty, naughty. 
greedy fuckers. It's a French firm, isn't it? Oh, let's just make sure that's on the right fucking... Yeah, it's on the right fucking heat. So why is, why is it burning my lip? Probably because it's a new, brand new coil in it, isn't it? It's cooking it like frigging popcorn, isn't it? Nearly asked my carer for a cigarette this morning because it was getting a bit heated while well, uh, I was having that episode, but no, nah. I just went straight for the vape and uh... <coughs> I got um, just enough to take the edge off it, if you see what I mean. So I'll cope with it like that anyway. <coughs> <coughs> I can't predict or see when I'm going to have an episode or when I'm going to lose my temper. If I'm getting frustrated at the moment, so that's why we're testing out the carer side of it at the moment to see what's required and for how long and that sort of thing. Um, whether I need it for a day a week, um, part-time or full-time, or just um, on call, if you see what I mean, where the person comes out just to be here. Um, but he has to see it for himself and how it's affecting me and then he can sort of, uh, okay, well, um, he can see it's uh, actually being caused by those around me who live around me at the moment, these little trigger things. Um, You can tell when I have a little outburst what it's about. And then uh, it sort of bounces off the pair of us, if you see what I mean. So he then knows what's required to uh, calm the situation down. Um, yeah, that's the best way I can describe it. At the moment, I'm, I'm still trying to work out what sort of care I need. Um, when I need it, um, you know, I'm going to be discussing that with the uh, pit people as well, so they're aware of the situation, that it is getting that bad now, um, and I'm being honest with them, otherwise I would have already sorted the carer thing out and just swung the system, but it's not about swinging the system for me, this is genuine. Um, so I'm trying to work out what I need and how I need it. Because um, this is this is all new to me. Okay. I can't do nothing about the PTSD. I can't do nothing about the anxiety. I'm aware there's another setup in motion at the moment. You know? The fact that uh, I posted something about uh, um, the son of the uh, mother that died by the end of the year. Um, yesterday, when asked to share it, but I did have in the back of my mind, like I said, the Andrew Ash story. And, uh, you know, and 
in the fact that, uh, yeah, well, um, that person was made to go there under whatever pretenses, and then uh, yeah, they had a suspicion it was being monitored and listened in on and probably all mic'd up and everything through the walls or whatever. Yeah? <coughs> oh, that was an emphysema globule flew out then. Um, I'm in the same predicament, if you see what I mean. Um, so the knowledge what I've learnt from that, I'm sort of aware and um, actively using what I've learnt. Um, that's the best way I can describe it all in my personal situation here, yeah? Right. Um, today, I've got to uh, take the tips off. Uh, let me just show you. Looks like a fucking dildo sitting there next to that telly, doesn't it? Nah, it's not. Let me show you what it is. Ugh. It's not a fucking candle either. Oh, I don't do that candle shit. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <clears throat> what is this? Right. Well, that'll give you a clue. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, my knee just crunched as I did that. Let me try and wiggle myself back in a bit. Right, let me show you. Uh. Now you can see why the top's bit on it. Alright. Alright. Because it's like a buzzy thing, isn't it? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Leave the lid alone. They don't like me doing it, but... Ah, 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 ah. Yes, it's a dog paw grinder, isn't it? Yes, and you let me do yours, don't you, Marnie? The more anxious dogs, yeah, I know it's got your uh, claw stuff on it. Let me just show you what it's like underneath that cap. I'm not going to turn it on because it'll just fucking hurt the dog's nose, won't it? But you've got a grinder wheel in there. Yeah. And let me just show you. Leave it. Leave it. Let me just show you. Little sharp spur claws. Yeah. She keeps licking them. So they're just going to have the tips ground off of them. So when they have a scratch, they're ripping their ears up. Yeah, and they don't scratch the inside of their ears and get infections in their ears and stuff like that. A hey, willow. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Back off, boys, back off. Let me just see. Let me just see her here. Because I thought I just saw another fucking... Hang on. Yeah. 
So when they scratch the sharp claws, they nick the skin in their ears and then it get infected. Yeah. And that's willow. So let's have a look at yours. Come out. Yeah. Right, now what haven't you had today? You haven't had your Amiga 3, 6 and 9, but your coats are feeling lovely and oily. You're molting a bit, so it's definitely getting to springtime now, isn't it? Soon be out. I did have some clippers for claws, but I don't feel comfortable using clippers. Um, I used to take them down the dog grooming place to get the claws clipped uh, because I don't like trying to do nervous or anxious dogs uh, while they're trying to pull their paws away and things like that. It's so easy to rip a dog's claw off um, if they're doing that because they're quite easily fucking bite their own claws off if they're hurting them. Um... Or cleaning them um, and sometimes when their claws get a little bit long they catch and they snap especially staffy claws yes you boy it needs to be pooping out in the garden but I'll probably do that later on. I don't need to do the washing up at the moment. Because I haven't run out of it. I haven't run out of it and I'm trying to eat the gas out on the... Uh, on that side of it. But I can easily fill a bowl of, uh, of kettle water, can't I, rather than waste my gas, what I need for the cooking. Mm. That gives me a couple of extra days worth of gas, doesn't it? When it should have run out at the weekend if I'd done all the washing up and everything else. And I had uh, a bath or whatever. Uh, luckily, the shower's on electric and there's solar panels. So, a uh, bit of a shit overcast day today. So, only using uh, boil kettles to... Uh, help the food along rather than uh, waste my gas heating up water as so I uh, boil food or cook food or whatever um, I'm keeping it down to quick cook, quick, foot, quick cook food at the moment but uh, when I go and get the gas in a little bit um I'll probably end up having a casserole and some nice dumplings and that. Um, or I might leave that till the weekend and just have beans on toast and sausages and stuff like that. I've only got to get through till Friday, if you see what I mean. Then uh, someone's going to uh, give us a little loan till payday. Just to get me through on the bits what I need in, in the house and that. Okay. While well, I'm going through this little thing out. Because they know I'm trying to uh, eke it all out so I can buy the scooter, buy the washing machine, that sort of stuff. I've got no other way of doing it. I can't get loans out or nothing. So I don't like usury. So I don't uh, get loans on it out usually. And if I ask to borrow anything, it's only ever for... Uh, what I absolutely need, and then I'll give it straight back anyway when I say I'm going to give it back. So, 
You know what I mean? Oh, good thou. Don't need to talk about anything else. Um, like I said, the uh, the shoomers that are listening through the walls can either run with what they thought they heard and gossip like gossips do and print fake news or they can just... You know, wait for this video to go up and then they go, oh, well, he's actually told the neighbourhood himself because he's still got the neighbour on his, uh, one of the decent neighbours on his uh, YouTube channel. And she set the record straight around the neighbourhood. Oh, there's that red kite. What a lovely sight to see. Just going that way. He's off to hunt his mice. And he's heading off Sandringham way. <laughs> he's going east. <laughs> Where the Ashamers are. The other side of that. Hmm. You never know how they get their intelligence, do you? You know what I mean? Because they're all, um, you know, the, the older people are all uh, royalists, aren't they, really? That's uh, what I was brought up to respect and all that. So uh, when they hear me playing a video on the speaker up there of um, the king's 40 year employed um, advisor um, when they hear me playing a video that someone asked me to share of uh, him being caught in a paedophile's uh, protector's thing. <laughs> um, not paedophile protector's uh, sting, but, uh, you know, child protectors, that's the word, child protectors, um, and they're paedophile hunters. So uh, he got caught out in that sting. Um, I'm not, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't usually watch that sort of thing. I've seen them online, um, and I've seen some that you know, you just look at them and you think, yeah, and then you see that person again, it'll pop up in another video where another one's caught and doing exactly the same thing, and it's like, fucking hell. And then there's another one pops up with the same person and it's like, fucking hell. Right, Marnie, why are you, why are you looking in there? Why are you looking in there behind my head? Was you listening to something on your level as a dog, was you, Marnie? Let's just have a look what, you're, what you're, you heard in there. Um, there's only an ironing board in there and all the tools and stuff I ain't been able to get in there and finish that off properly but I've got the support timbers to uh, go up there move them panels about that one and that one use the cutting there up against that I'll just flip that upside down if you see what I mean and the cut edge I go down that one and any off cut that I need to cut off, I'll be coming off that unsightly one. If you see what I mean. Yeah. And then all those panels will be in there secure. I only need two, don't I? Or one, really. 
um, and then screw it all to the wall. But confines tight spaces. Let me just show you in there because you've seen the water droplets on the ceiling up here, haven't you? Um, where's my torch? Let me, let me fleece pocket. Shut up a fleece pocket. No, it's up there. Of course it is because. I didn't have any lighting on. I've got lighting on this one. Look. Yeah. When I don't or can't get out of bed to turn that fucker off, I'll have the lighting on there where I can sort of shuffle along the bed to get to it. Um, yeah, let's have a look in this wardrobe. There's a bit of a mess in there. Because, like I said, I still haven't had a shit yet. It's been over nearly a week. Oh. Excuse the mess, like I said. Look at this up here. Look at it all running. The run marks down the wall. Excuse me, stepping on stuff, look. See where it's all been running down the wall? Yeah? Yeah? Now, seeing as there's no nicotine coming down the walls, that's got to be the uh, treatment stuff in the paint, isn't it? That nearly fucking burns your lungs when you breathe it in. It's like resin, isn't it? Running down the walls. Right? And obviously, I've got to fill in these drill holes here. Yeah? Um. I'll put up the closed rail across that corner. I'll put some more closed rails up here. Put down the uh, support there. And uh, yeah, these screw holes behind my head. In this wardrobe. Um, I have got to get in here and put the proper wall supports on. Because it's still just a fake front at the moment where it's uh up there and it is supposed to be a walk-in wardrobe in it so as you can see um there's a support here what that can be screwed to so i need one support in here yeah and one support down that side um the one that looks the shittiest edge, which I think is that one, isn't it? That's the one that's going to be flipped on its edge and cutting on that side. And this one, this panel's got to be moved over there. So I need one support here, one support down there. And then I can drill it into the floor. Yeah, it's a fucking mess in here. It's just, I'm constantly sorting out the dogs, aren't I? So it's diverting my time and attention away from the jobs that I need to do. Right, you stay there, Marnie. That's it. Oh, that's set off now. But look, water droplets, mildew. <laughs> See the water droplets glistening on the ceiling? I haven't been having showers. <laughs> Alright, I've been staying out of here on purpose because I don't want to be breathing in them spores. But they painted over in the steam because it steams up the bathroom. So I haven't even been having showers. And that's why. I can't have that in my lungs. Alright. My lungs are bad enough at the moment. 
Yeah, I've got a little bit of washing up to do, but nothing important. In here, look at it. But springtime, I'm going through the whole lot because I'm fucking sick of it. Here's the two supports that I needed. But they're going to be painted and everything first. Scrubbed and treated so there's no uh, mildew coming through on them. Uh, but I only put them up against the pipes so uh, you to dry them out if you see what I mean. But look at the fucking state of it. <laughs> Me ninja stick. <laughs> now I, might, I improvise with that uh, just to try and get down behind the chain link fence into, you know, just the weeds out from behind it. Because the neighbour didn't put the fence up against on the proper borderline, he put it up behind the fence, and then the weeds grow in between the two fences. If you see what I mean. So, and you don't really want to be ripping your arms open pulling fucking weeds up from behind a chain link fencing do you so I said when I uh, get the landlords on film saying yeah 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 that'd be alright yeah let me just show you so the chain link fencing's being removed isn't it because uh, the landlords have already agreed verbally on video that I can do that um, when I move that, then he can move his fence line over to where it's supposed to be. All right. Um, but yeah, someone's trying to manipulate the situation to uh, get her bit of the fence done first by making out she's scared of the dogs and blah de blah de blah. <laughs> Which is why they keep leaving the gate open. Right, because they think I'm afraid of the antisocial behaviour order that's not worth its fucking w worth on paper because it was a setup, and I can prove it was a setup. And I told the police I knew it was a setup, and I said to them, "Now you don't want the same ending as what you had last time you set me up, do you?" So let's stop with your fucking silly guts. Oh. So that intelligence went back to London, didn't it? He said he's going to do it again if we fucking play games with his life again. Did he now? Oh, fucking hell. Oh. Oh, he said he was going to do it again. Oh, do we need a cup of tea, do we, Ch uh, Marnie Moo? Nearly called him Charlie Moo then. <laughs> oh, you big head motherfucker, staffy ears. <laughs> Near the murmuring coming through the wall, still. He's fucking talking about the king again on his video. You know, I can't fucking hear him saying it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got very sensitive hearing. <coughs> but you learn to. Um, how can you put it? You, you learn to. Uh, Know your neighbourhood, don't you? Especially when it's so quiet. Oh, oh fuck it, I'm not having a cup of tea yet. I'll do that when I've done my video. Uh, my hyperactivity coming out, isn't it? One thing at a time, come on. He says, talking to himself and reminding himself. Right, well, we are 50 minutes I'm getting out. Right, that's what I'm going to be doing today. 
Um, oh, I might do it tomorrow. It's, it's no fucking rush whatsoever. I don't have to phone Pip up today. I don't, you know, I can do that any time. Um, I really need to check my diary, though, to make sure I'm not missing any appointments while I'm getting distracted by all this nonsense again. Um, you need to go out, do ya, Scooby-Doo? Do ya? So I can put the kettle on then. Right, because you want to go out for a pee, don't you, Marnie Moo? With ya. Uh -huh. I just got back in my nice warm bed then, hadn't I? <laughs> yeah, I know they are. You know, he's pointing at. And hearing... Because his ears are a lot more sensitive than mine, but I heard him anyway, didn't I, Marnie? I already knew, boy. That's it. Good boy, you wag your tail. Right, let's let you lot out in the garden and then you can dry off in the hallway. Come on. Oh, the fire's off anyway, isn't it? Today, didn't you? You had all, all your dinner today. Good boy. Come on, then, there you come. Let me get my cup and we do it all in the same time. Messes, messes are just distractions, aren't they? Some people are a bit more OCD about it. Hey, you ain't done your washing up. Hey, you ain't done your hooping. Hey. Hey, dust your ass off. Hey. You know what I mean? To me, it's just a fucking distraction. If you was living rough on the streets... You wouldn't be saying, oh, clean my fucking street up. i have to fucking lay on that. Would you? No, that's right. Yes, we've got a new bonfire bag building up. And we've got a little mayfly in here. Where's that a gnat? Where's the frigging cake? Get out of that. Oi. Right, 53 minutes, so I'll round this off at an hour. Let's back up, back up a minute. Let me just have a look out there, see if it's still open or if it's shut. Stay there. It's now shut, so. There's good boys and girls. Behave, no barking. No, I haven't been drinking. Do 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 do. Checking. 
on the stench all that was. Because it's usually every time I come indoors, they start acting up out there. And I'm not talking about the dogs. No wind at all last night. But yet someone's fence was rattling. That house. What? What? What are you barking at? Are you barking at Lucky? Oh no, it's the postman, it's the Royal Mail. <laughs> well, he ain't been to my door, has he? So I'm just looking, is that a football or a fucking rabbit in the garden there? I think it's a football. Won't be a tortoise, will it, this weather? They'll be hibernating. It's got to be an old football or something, isn't it? Bad eyesight. <laughs> But they've got loads of rabbits. If the dog spot one of the rabbits, that will trigger their prey chase response, won't it? If you see my point. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're having a silly five minutes. Smothered in mud. There you go, there's the van that went out when my carer left. Come on, in you come. Come on. Get indoors. Come on. Ah, ah. Out. Out. Hulkster, out. No, just out of the bedroom. In! Yeah, she's taking him off up the garden now. Get him, Willow. Not get him. <laughs> <laughs> Hulk start in Come on <laughs> You fucking top Come on Hulk <laughs> They've all got the zoomies this morning <coughs> I'll get her in I'll get her in Willow What's this? Ooh, food. <laughs> come on, in you come. In you come. Come on. All right, in you go. In you go. There you go. Go on, in you go. Train them through their stomachs. <laughs> All right, 59.45. So, have a lovely... Let me just check. Have a lovely Tuesday, folks. Don't worry about me, I'm all right. Everything's cool, or as cool as it can be. And I mean super cool. It's fucking giving you goosebumps on the arms in here. <laughs>